Hey guys, it's Melissa from Silhouette School. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the free version of Silhouette Studio as a layout software when you are using your Epson F570. So the 570 is the 24 inch wide uh, Epson die sublimation printer. And if you are on a Mac like I am, you can't use the print uh, edge software because it's for PC only. However, that you can still print directly from your Mac to the sublimation printer. You just need to make sure that you have a software. Silhouette Studio is a perfect and free software that you can do that. You do not need to have a Silhouette cutting machine to download and use the software. So you can just simply go to silhouetteamerica.com slash software and download the most current version. You're not going to use it to cut. We are only going to use it to set up the page and lay out our um, sublimation prints that we are then going to send to the printer. So when you open up Silhouette Studio, uh, we want to be in the design area. So the very first uh, tool up here on the right side is the page setup panel and that's going to be really important. We're not using a machine so just ignore that for right now. Um, in the number two spot where it says cutting mat we're just going to click none okay and then we're, we're going to get to media size in a minute because what you'll see is if you look at the drop down um, it's not giving you the full 24 inch wide options and that's because we first have to tell it what printer we are using. You can print to any printer from Silhouette Studio. So it's a really nice software and especially because it's free. All right, so in order to tell the software, Silhouette Studio, what printer we're using, we want to go up to File and then Print Page Setup. From here, we're going to change the printer to our Epson 570. And then we're going to select the paper size. So let's say I want to cut off the roll because I have a 24 inch, I have the 24 inch roll set up in my, um, in my printer already. And then I'm going to tell it that I want to retain the scale. Now, if you want it to be longer than 30 inches, you certainly can. But for this example, I'm just going to pick 24 inches wide by 30 inches. All right. And we will click OK. Now, it doesn't look like anything happened in the software and it didn't yet other than that you set the Epson 570 as your printer. If you go to media size, you're currently on 12 by 12, which is what you have here. But if you select it now, if you click printer, you'll see that it's 24 by 30. So let's select that. And while it doesn't look a whole lot bigger, if you note up here, these are inches and you can see this is 24 inches across and 30 inches down. So now we have our page set up for 24 by 30. I like to uh, check the box here for show the print border. In this case, we can basically print to the edge, so not a big deal. And now all we need to do is import our sublimation prints that we want to print. So I have a couple of um, Tumblr sublimation files that I want to print, and I can do them all at the same time. So you have a couple of different ways you can import. You can go to your finder and just um, do a quick search for your uh, designs. So I know that I have 20 ounce here. Let me just find them. Okay. So here's one. This is tapered. I don't want to use the tapered. I want to use the, the straight. So I'm just going to pull that in and that will open in Silhouette Studio. I'm not going to change the size because it's perfect to the size that it is. This is already, I bought this design or got this design from Sofancy. It's already ready to go. So we don't need to change anything about that. Just pulling a couple of these uh, sublimation prints in. And, whoops. You can also go up to File, Open. And again, same thing. We can just, uh, here's a st the straight one because I have a couple of straight mugs. Okay, now what you can do is set these up in your work area. All right, so we have, we can print all of these at once. All right. So this is going to allow us to print five. And then let's say we also had a couple of other, you know, smaller type things that we wanted to print. Like let's say we had some um, four, four inch um, coasters. If you hold down shift, it'll make a perfect square. Okay. And then I'm just going to copy a couple of these using the keyboard shortcuts. And I'm basically just doing this so that I don't waste space on my uh, roll of 
of uh, transfer paper that I'm using here. Okay. And then whatever you want these to be. So you could fill these with a solid color. Um, if you open up the fill color panel on, in Silhouette Studio, there's some, pa there's some patterns that you can select from. You know, you can, whatever you want to do. So get creative. If you have one of the upgrade versions of Silhouette Studio, you could bring in your own patterns. Uh, custom patterns and use them. You know, here's like here's a tie dye one. The Epson F570 is so smart that it automatically reverses the image. So you do not need to mirror your images at all. When you send this to print, it will mirror them for you. So this text, while it's correctly oriented here, you do not need to mirror this image. If you're used to doing that, you're going to end up double mirroring it and then it will print incorrectly. So I just wanted to point that out before we go to print. Now, once this is all ready, now what I can do is go back, I can do file print from here, or I can print, I can click the print icon from along the top toolbar. All right, and then again, I need to just select that I'm using the uh, 500 under with Wi-Fi, and then I need to make my selections from here. So this is really important. You don't wanna just click print, all right? You wanna make sure that you have all of these selections um, set up first. So layout, I typically don't do anything in, but I do go into color matching and I use color sync. And then for, because I'm going to be putting these on hard goods, I like to pick rigid. All right. And then we'll go to the next one, paper handling, not going to change anything in the here cover page. We don't need print settings. All right. This is where it's going to ask you how you want to, um, what anything specific that you want with the with the paper the most important thing that i feel is on this page is this down here this level so this is the print resolution depending on your preference obviously i you can change these but i like max quality and finest detail that gives the highest dpi and i've done a lot of testing um between speed and max uh, print quality and I just find that I like max quality and finest detail. It takes a little bit longer to print, but it gives me the best quality. All right, and then the last thing is advanced. Under advanced, if you want your, um, if you want the machine, the printer to cut a line after or cut the paper roll after the end of your print, you wanna make sure that you do save paper roll. I don't want it to auto rotate, so I'm just leaving that alone. Once all the settings are set up, now I simply press print and the processing will begin and the printer will begin printing. This doesn't take too long. For a print size this large, it'll probably take about 10 minutes for all of these uh, sublimation prints to print out. And then the machine will cut a slice at the bottom and I'll have my full sheet that I can then go ahead and cut the pieces apart.